You know, I was thinking the other day, uh, most things that we're concerned about uh, in our lives and things that, that we're dealing with right now uh, are really under the grace of Jesus Christ. Uh, in the past, we've been under the law, and I know uh, from being uh, in a Pentecostal background, uh, it was rigid. Things were often structured, so structured until uh, we had really not a whole lot of liberality to do, you know, a lot of things. But God has been speaking to me uh, about grace. And, and I have a scripture here, and it is Ephesians, uh, the second chapter and the eighth verse. And it says, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and it's not of yourself. It is a gift of God. You know what? I got to thinking about that. Now, if it's by grace that I'm saved, uh, and the second scripture will tell you, uh, the ninth verse will tell you that it's not by works, lest any man should boast. I just been beginning to think, if it's by grace that we're saved, uh, why are we working so hard to be saved? Why are we working so hard to get it right? when the one scripture tells us that our righteousness is as filthy rags. So uh, I understand it like this. The rightest thing I've ever done really doesn't measure up to the grace of God. I, I think there's a lot of people out there that, that, that would be saved and would be in church, but uh, they're, they're caught under the law. They're caught under, you know, what they've been taught in the past and what people have said. They're caught under criticism and they're caught under different things that you know that hold them there and they say well i don't want to go to church i i don't you know i have the right dress you know i i'm not ready yet uh, i don't want to be a hypocrite uh these are some things that i think they're just some major excuses that we use because you know the definition of a hypocrite is one that practices to deceive. I, I don't think anyone comes into church and goes up and asks God to be their Lord and Savior and just practicing uh, to deceive someone else. What I think it is that we're struggling and we forget about the grace. We forget that Jesus died on the cross, that we might have a right to the tree of life, might have a right uh, to this grace. And, and even so, we have to look at it. In 2 Timothy, it says that uh, thou, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ. So that really lets us know that we have to be strong in the grace. You have to believe that you have the grace of God in your life. We're saved by grace through faith. So if we, if we are saved by grace through faith, it means that all I have to do is to believe that I'm saved. Confess the Lord Jesus and, and, and believe that he has saved me. Oh, yeah, you're going to have some struggles. You have some ups and downs. You have some things that seem like uh, that are going to take you out of here. But they're not. The grace of God is covering you. It, it is not of works. The ninth verse said, lest any man should boast. But it is of the Lord's favor. It is of the Lord's mercy. You know, and we have to realize that it is the mercy of God that, that, that we are not consumed, you know, it, 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 that we should boast, that, that we should think that, you know, we have obtained or we have made it here. No, let me tell you something. I'm just a sinner saved by grace. It's not because of who I am. It's not because of my background. It's not because of what I've done. It's not because of what I have not done. I'm saved by grace. I thank God for this opportunity to, to even talk to you. And, and hopefully that you will let somebody else know. It's not man that saves me. It is the grace. The grace of God. The unmerited favor. Now, if you would take the time just to pray with me. Father, I thank you for the people of God, Lord, that are listening to this. And I thank you for their hearts and their minds because... They are listening. It lets me know that they have something in their hearts, God, that they need you to work out. Oftentimes they're disappointed, but we need you now, Lord, to lift the disappointment. And we need you now, Lord, to give them the grace 
that we were talking about today. Your favor and your grace and mercy be upon these people. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for it. Amen.